The build video for this project will be posted next week, and it's going to be a long format how-to video, and this is a very easy project to make, so I hope that you'll hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and then you'll know exactly when that video is posted. Today we're going to focus on the finish, and I'll show you how to get a perfect painted and natural wood combination finish. The first thing I'm going to do is mask off the front of the cabinet and the legs with painter's tape. Next I'll prime the surfaces with a latex acrylic primer. The primer that I'm using is Fresh Start by Benjamin Moore. I'll let the primer dry and then sand it with 220 sandpaper before applying the first coat of finish paint. The paint that I'm using on this project is Benjamin Moore White Dove Flat Wall Paint. I'll apply two coats of the finish paint, again sanding in between coats with 220 sandpaper. When the third coat is dried, I'll spray the painted surfaces with one coat of clear lacquer from Mohawk Finishing Products. Before spraying the project, I'll adjust the width of the fan by spraying onto a piece of cardboard. Now I'm ready to spray one thin coat on the painted surfaces. Now that all the painted surfaces are sealed with lacquer, I don't have to worry about them getting dirty. Any dust that may get on the painted surfaces will be easily removed by blowing the dust off with the air chuck and then wiping it down. The next step is to remove the painter's tape, give the front of the cabinet a final sanding, and then spray the whole cabinet with lacquer. You can see that I didn't get a perfect line with the painter's tape, but since the cabinet's painted and sealed, I can now sand the front of the cabinet, removing the paint and getting a nice crisp line. After sanding, I'll remove all the sawdust using a vacuum, my air chuck, and a clean paper towel. Now I'm ready to spray, and I'll apply three coats of lacquer, allowing about an hour and a half between each coat, and sanding between each coat with 320 sandpaper. After sanding the finish in the direction of the grain with 320 sandpaper, I'll remove the dust with my air chuck and a clean paper towel. I like to allow the third coat of lacquer to set up or cure for about two days before hand rubbing the finish in the direction of the grain with 40 steel wool and wool lube buffing paste by Mohawk Finishing Products. And that's how I apply a combination painted natural wood finish. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week when we build this cabinet. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.